Hello folks, welcome back to Saving Barcelona. Hmm? I'll explain. Hello then gang, how are you? Welcome back. If you're enjoying the series, do drop a like on it. Before we delve in to Barcelona, I've been playing some some Barcelona, football manager with Barcelona. He's still confused. It's okay. So yesterday, I spent 10 hours. I took it. It's like a job, this game, viewers. I spent 10 hours playing a Barcelona save and have achieved this so far. Four points clear at the top of La Liga um, with the Barcelona team, which of course is messy-less. And I've had some wonderful fun. And you might be wondering, yeah, but why? Why have you been doing it? What's this? This is Derby, isn't it? Well, following yesterday's episode of Derby, and following my recording with Derby, I thought, I need to learn football manager again a little bit. And I want to figure out, like with my Derby side, if we could apply Tiki Taka to Derby County. Now, where is the home of Tiki Taka? Pep Guardiola, Manchester City, currently, probably, kind of. But no, Barcelona, for me, were, were the greatest team in the world for that period in sort of 2010, 2009, under Pep Guardiola, with, with that amazing Barcelona side. And I just thought, I haven't done a Barcelona save this year, why not? So we came to Barcelona and we deployed a tiki-taka style with the players they have. And again, I believe you play it in, in numerous different ways with numerous different players. Um, but overall, that was the style and the feel that I was going for. And fortunately for me, it's got, I've bought Luis Suarez back to Barcelona. I've just done it. Memphis Depay, not happy. He scored a lot of goals. Sorry, Memphis. Uh, kind of feel bad about it. But what it allowed me to see, and this was the important thing really, was all the patterns of play that you see with tiki-taka the way that they control the ball, the way that they're patiently waiting for things to happen, how wing backs interact with the forward players and the central players as well. And I talked a lot about triangles in this episode, and there's, there's no better example of it than this. Now, I've used Memphis in a few different roles. He used a bit deep line uh, forwards, he used a bit Trek Batista, and found that in both, he's quite interesting. But in Trek Batista, I found him to be far more effective and far more of a team player as well. And that brings us then to Derby. Basically, I really liked him in that role. And you can also play Chuck Batista in that role. And, and equally, like some of the other roles I found really fascinating, really curious. And again, the way that we build up moves and plays and eventually score goals in quite funny ways, really, was, was really comforting to see a, a different style. And also, it did make me believe in strikers a little bit more. So that was helpful too. But with everything I've learned then, in the 10 hours at Barcelona, and I might just continue this save and try and rebuild them to the, the Barcelona we all know and some of us loved. So uh, let's see how we can compare some of this at Barcelona to Derby, which is a sentence that's never been said before. So after a short flight, we arrived at Birmingham Airport minutes ago. Uh, we're back at Derby. And if you're following along then, yesterday's episode, we drew with Fulham and we lost to Bournemouth. And it was depressing as anything. It wasn't a good performance by either stretch. We were just we were dominating every area of the pitch, really. And today, we have two really difficult games against Tottenham in the Cup and Liverpool in the league. And neither are going to be particularly doesn't say easy. But tactically, we're adopting Football Manager's definition of a tiki taka style. I trust them to understand what it's going to be like. And again, the familiarity and the intensity of that is not going to be perfect for us right now, especially the familiarity, of course. It's not going to be straight in there. But it's not too dissimilar to what we've played before. Um, in terms of the roles then and the way we're going to set up, again, no playmakers in the middle might be our biggest risk. So we're going to play one. Rather than having the attacking roles that we've had before, well, we're, going to, we're going to keep the attacking roles, but we're going to make Vitova 2 a really good, or two, a really good playmaker, we hope, right? He's got all the tools for this. Next row, runner in Vidovic. And Willock is our Trek Quatista to begin with, uh, mainly because his composure and his off the ball and his acceleration will be much more useful than it would be on Vidovic, who's good, but not quite as good as Willock. And again, that composure in front of goal, I'll take that, even though the finishing is only 12. I don't think it's too bad. Zahar and Alissi, I'm hoping now, because of the wing backs that we've got Lukaku and Baldock on, they will also integrate themselves more into this team play. And we have to try and adopt. And it's something we've been doing for ages, right? We've talked about it loads. I could show you a goal that we scored a while ago, actually, that sort of it emphasizes the patience that we try and use when we're looking for that final ball and that final run. And it's weird that I remember it, but it was against Huddersfield in the cup. And I can, I can show you this. It was 16 minutes in, and it was this one, I'm pretty sure. The linked events for George Bulldog. That 
is kind of what we're going to try and do with this system but not have necessarily a, a, a fullback on the end of it but have one of our wingers have one of our how our critiques do it really on the end of it or video will be there as well but it's about the idea of keeping the ball being patient working it back and forth and you look at the amount of passes we had pre-goal that's kind of what I'm looking for with this. Now with Barcelona, I play a slightly higher tempo, high quality of player. You know, that, that's kind of what we're going for with Derby against the teams, especially the teams we're about to play against. We're not going to do that quite so much. We're going to keep things as low as possible. So I would say if you do have a high quality of player up in the tempo slightly, it's still really effective. Turns out Sergio Bush gets quite good. So try it. Now, of course, this is Football Manager. It hates me. So this might not work. And I'm very acutely aware of that right now. Alfie Whiteman is still in goal. We're still without David Rea, who would be perfect for this to play Alfie Whiteman as a sweeper keeper on attack. Makes me nervous. But the rest of the team, I think role-wise, are pretty well suited to what we're doing. Of course, the roles in central midfield, we still have to consider. We still have to think about. Oh, good Lord. The team are concerned. Don't worry, boys. You just trust trust the process now to try this in a cup game that i really want to win away at tottenham well this could get ugly but i actually think moving forward this is sort of the future of what we're doing so we're coming away slightly from the three attacking midfielders and it sort of plays into the idea i said like if this season becomes a bit of a dead robber it will allow me to trial things well it's october about to be november and i feel like we're already there so that's in a way comforting but let's see how will our wing max produce now how will our wingers be more involved and will vidovic give us the one nil leads he won't but that was perfect really the hold up play from willock again we'll push forward when he needs to as a trecotista move into channels things like that but ultimately we'll try and bring other players into play as well and that's what we saw right there that was nice it's going to be a free kick though to them and christopher goes very very close very early now a cup game i don't know how seriously they're taking this harry kane playing wide left as an advanced player they're not taking it seriously viewers that's the conclusion but i'm really interested to see how the roles interact with each other i'm nervous because again i don't necessarily play these three roles in this type of system but okay, i play a half back rather than anchor man and things like this but a half time nil nil um Mm, not much to talk about, really. When you bring up the match stats, uh, they've had more passes than us. Tiki Taka. All right, it's just, I guess it's a case of will we be able to unlock the door and get that one goal? And how different is it having a striker to having Joe Willock playing again in a strikerless kind of system? Um, unless he's having a poor game to begin with. So, like, Zahar's okay. So far, it's not too bad. I expect this triangle to have a lot of the ball, produce a lot of passes. We are quite a way into this and my, my worry now is the fitness of some of my players um they are starting to tire uh Elias chair i reckon will be good in that that role in there bakioko at the anchorman role um i think we probably keep it like that maybe dean garner for michael who i don't really know and then jordan lukaku i think you get five subs in the league cup you do so o'connell normally a center back is going to come on at left back for the final 20 minutes four players though four sets of fresh legs and hopefully it doesn't disrupt things too much and in fact hopefully it improves us ever so slightly as this game viewers has been highlightless and, and in a way it means we've we're partially maybe hopefully restrict restri i'm just gonna say the words restricted tottenham to not a lot as that ball is cleared away and mumba is on it on that right side ball played in and we've nearly scored a known goal with our chest. So that's good, isn't it? Now, admittedly, without scoring a goal, we're not really seeing the joys and the, and the, the excitement of this new system. But at the same time, we have held Tottenham away to nothing. And it's penalties. Okay, then. That's not... I don't know if that's... What do you make of that, then? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> All right, always put your fourth take it. Your best taker on fourth, I would say. Zahar's going to kick things off for us. Um, we've got a couple of good penalty takers there, but a couple. And, and by that, I mean, we've got two good penalty takers there. All right, relax. Pick your spot. Don't change your mind, etc. Right, this is it. Easy. Just relax. Just get the... Here we, here we go. A penalty shootout, viewers. I wasn't expecting this today. All right, let's get the camera angle perfect. As uh, here we go, then. Rodri to step up. Not the same Rodri as manchester cities as alfie whiteman could be a hero here viewers it's not a good start all right they've got sportiello in goal not hugo larice as wilfred zaha well it's a good penalty the keeper got pretty close though i'm backing alfie whiteman here do you know what i feel good about it christopher is stepping up alfie whiteman to save right that's what we're that's what we're dreaming of not even close is he not even 
not even close. Oh god, this is a, this could be a, this could be a long, hopefully a long penalty shoot. That means we keep scoring. Vidovic wasn't quite sure how to approach the ball there. Steps up and scores. That bottom left hand corner. We're favouring it. All right, Mumba stepping up for Tottenham as this is. I'm already feeling a bit nervous, viewers. Mumba steps up and Alfie Whiteman is just falling forwards. Um, it makes me very scared. Bakioko now, the new signing for us to play in that anchor man role. And he anchors the ball into that bottom left hand corner. We can shoot in other areas, but I'm, I, if, if it works, it works. Alhen is now up for Tottenham, the left back potentially, as that's a really good penalty. Alfie Whiteman nearly dived out of the goal there. I mean, showing some ability. But see, now, look, we've, we've banked on him. As the, as the goal score oh my god why on earth is he the, he's the best one well he's the person that's supposed to either make it safe or rescue it or win it for you and he's probably just blown it he's the best one it's a system that usually works quite well for me having one fourth anyway setting on to win it for Tottenham then I mean great this is this has gone horrendously hasn't it setting on steps up and scores tiki taka Lost on penalties. I mean, it's been drab. I mean, what can you, what can you say? We've had, we've had the better four, three shots on target to there too. Um, boring. I've said it. Unlucky lads. Penalties can be a lottery and not based on the technical and mental ability of those players in that big moment. Who knows? We're out. I wanted to win a cup. It ain't gonna be that one. That's that's for sure. Um, you look at the teams that have gone through. Liverpool and United are still in there. Leicester in there as well. It would have been tough, but. It would have helped if we'd gone through. All right, three days now. We've played our strongest 11 there against Tottenham, trying to get the win. Uh, we now play Liverpool. Let's get these boys rested quickly and see how we do against the, the three-time winners and current league leaders. Liverpool, great. This probably wasn't the best two games to use the Tiki Taka system in, if I'm honest. But the other stuff wasn't working. Could be Bournemouth. So, worth the change. So, you're watching this now going, oh, that is embarrassing. You've changed, you've changed your system. I've also played 10 hours with Barcelona. So, bear that in mind. I am. Oh God! If I think about it for too long, I will be sad. Oh, good. We've we've uh, we've let's let's reapply for Hugo Felix's work permit because that that could be huge come January. We find out on the second. We find out today actually. Here it comes, second of November. This is exciting. Google searching things for me without me asking it to. Is he going to get his work permit? I ca I can't see why he would unless he's been working at a local chip. No, he's not been working at the chip shop. Okay, still hasn't played enough games for the country. Um, to automatically qualify. Well, we'll have to. We'll, wait, we'll we'll be back. We'll be back soon. You'll see. And sorry, it's Hamilton. Been a while. All right, Jack O'Connell comes in. Then uh, Jordan Lukaku is going to have to step out. Lee Buchanan's going to have to play. Oh god. Uh, right. Well, I'm already nervous, aren't I? Right, I'm thinking. I like Joe Willock as well. So this is going to seem harsh. But I've got to get more out of Michael. We could play Michael in there. I'm going to forgo. I'm going to forgo his finishing ability. Dean Garner's going to come in because he's got a nice relationship with Bullock at the back. Let's see. For two as well, based on the idea of him being supportive rather than maybe pushed up a little bit too far and maybe can help link things a little better, we're going to take on to a support duty. And, and put, play him as half back. See if it works. Okay, changing a few things. It's got a, it's all, it's got a bit more Barcelona viewers, which is th enthralling. David Ray is playing. I don't, what's the injury? I forget. Is it groin or something? It can't be bad. Pulled armstring. You can play with that. You can play with that. You just use your arms a lot on sweeper keeper attack. You might be forced to move your legs a bit. All right, then. As if Liverpool couldn't get any more terrifying. Uh, Ibanez plays there now with Lewandowski. <laughs> What's the point? Gundogan's on there as well. It's, it's impossible, isn't it? It's impossible. What am I hoping for here? What am I? If look, I, st I restarted the series a little bit. I was like, look, this will make them believe in the project of Derby County. Watch this. Well, what a what a set of what a what a opening couple of episodes this has been. That first game we peaked. Oh, we're still on we're still on penalty shootout. Cam, hang on a second, dear viewers. All right, here we go. Then we're at home against the Liverpool team that are, I'll say it, brilliant. Um, let's let's see if we can get amongst it. We are going to need the ball though, as they are playing it around ever so neatly right now. You think about the way their their threats could come from though. We are trying to deal with them slightly better than we have done before. But their ability just to play around Michael might get quite frustrating. Now, Lewandowski, not the quickest in behind. Doesn't matter when Trent's the one running there. Um, so which might be of benefit to us a little bit. What the, What have you done? What have you done? A like, football manager. I'll tell you what. I did a poll last night on Twitter. I was like, how lucky do you think you are a football manager? I am not lucky this year. My new halfback, does he think it's an American football role? 
Trent's running into the penalty area. He's make no, he makes no attempt. Of course, it's a penalty. Makes no attempt. I'm watching it again. Makes no attempt to get the ball at all. Like not even, not even a little bit. And just what runs at Trent here? What, what is? What does he? What's the? What's going through his head? I can't, viewers. I can't. We're just gonna. Have, don't worry. Every, every little thing's gonna be all right. Lewandowski. Here we go. Steps up. Love penalties, me. Can't get enough of them. They've, they've. They're one up after two minutes because Bielic is just a moron. Derby County, jobless. When I restart the series soon, and, and, and you'll see, you'll know why. Because it's going, what is happening? I know they're good, but like that is, that is abysmal. I realised I've got reversed cam on. So we look for, while we look very close to them, it's a bit confusing. Sorry, viewers. Vinovic is through it. Hello. Go for goal. Oh, my word. Alisson with a decent save. I don't know why we were suddenly so close to the action. All right, Vertu, here we go. Played in. O'Connell. Referee, handball. It's got to be a handball. Has it actually handled it? Well, I'll tell you what. I'm so lucky when it comes to effort. We'll probably miss it, actually. Let's let's hold on. We've got a penalty. The, the ball was played in. And now... Oh, great. Mr. I've hit the post in a crucial moment steps up. But he's my best penalty taker, bear in mind. And scores. Couldn't do that three days ago, could you? No, you've learned your lesson. Jordan makes it 1-1. One, one. We're back. All right. Um, I don't... Equally, if if we'd have handled it, I'd be going I'd be going mental right now. So let's let's at least enjoy that. A penalty at either end. Can we now hopefully begin to dominate proceedings a little bit? <laughs> here am I kidding? Anyway, here we go. Liverpool have got a throw in. Uh, played into the feet of Sadio Mane. Back to Jordan Henderson across the Virgil Van Dijk across. I mean, this is this is terrifying. Head oh, we've missed the ball. We've missed the header. Don't foul him. Trent on that side. Ball played in. Lewandowski. He's missed. Game's bugged. There must be there must be a glitch in the, the cycle. I think I complained. The ma oh hello. There's a there's a free kick. Back post. We're not awake. They've scored. What's just happened? The assistant's put his arm up. Liverpool running to the corner to celebrate. But the question is, is that going to count? I can't see too many reasons as to why it wouldn't count. But Darren England is consulting VAR and has awarded the goal. Well, Andy Robertson has caught us out there. We, I don't think we were particularly prepared as Virgil van Dijk was definitely on side, hid behind Buchanan, and we're 2-1 down again. Fantastic. Can you hear the bitterness in my voice? Is it coming across? Yeah, it is. Okay, good. It's real. It feels real. All right, which, at what point do I just go for as wing backs on attack? Because that, because because it's what I know. Uh, oh, they're playing very... Oh, blimey. They're playing very, very wide now. They're not so much in support of everything else. It's very spread comparatively to what I've used in the past, obviously. So do I try and, and pack them in there? Because, and I, I'll be honest with you, what do we have to lose here? I know it's 2-1. I know it's close. But equally, they are Liverpool and there is still 45 minutes. So we might as well see what happens when I pile players forward on attack. Trent on this side. Hold up the play nicely. Ball played in Lewandowski. is well over. Well, he's honestly appalling. They should sell him. You should come play Trek Batista for me. Corner, Liverpool, Robertson, back post. And they go close again. Love headers, Liverpool. Honestly, boring. My four players are doing absolutely nothing. The temptation to change things for... I don't know what you do at this point, really. What if we go... What if we do this? What if we do two Trek Batistas and a partridge in a pear tree, eh? Let's, let's give that a whirl. What? Again, it's not that different, really. I know it looks a bit odd. But obviously, you're just putting a player slightly further forward from where he would naturally start his role anyway. We're now playing a four across the top line. This is not exactly Tiki Taka, if I'm honest. But it's still 2-1. The wingback thing's done nothing. Which I don't know if I should be proud of or not, really. You've got to ask, are you giving up too much space in the middle doing this? I mean, not obviously, anyway. We've not had a single chance post our goal, by the way. Not anything. I mean, chair, chair's coming on for Zahar, because Zahar might as well not, not be on the pitch today. Um, Bakio coming as well. Yeah, I think fresh legs in the middle. You can't go wrong. And Louis Sibley is coming on, coming on for Dean Garner, who has done, up again, absolutely not. It's been sensational. What can I say? Weirdly, though, we are kind of in this right now with five minutes to go. They've got another corner. Andy Robertson whips the ball in. Back post, headed away. James Tarkovsky. I, I don't know if... Hello, oh, hello. Vinovich just nabbed in. Now we're... So, oh, okay. Well, there was a moment there, viewers, where I thought, oh, my God, we're about to draw with Liverpool. And now they're forwards and Lewandowski's panged it in. Panged it. That's not a word, is it? Power banged. Panged. Derby one, Liverpool three. And I think what you can take away from today, viewers, is we've definitely learned our lessons. I don't know what those lessons are, but we've definitely learned teachings. Um, well, 
<sighs> oh god i already know what i feel like i'm gonna do and i've played 10 hours of barcelona to conclude that the three center mid thing is actually way more way more beneficial to my derby team this season right now and i might put michael in there as one of the three that's that's my solution to what is quite clearly a massive problem I do you know what I do? at the end of at, at the end of this and fortunately for us all we're getting there i mean how many corners have they had good lord virgil van dyke makes it 4-1 and that's that's unjust to be fair because it should be about 8-1 so fair enough you know, you know that five minutes I did at the start of the episode where I was talking about Tiki Taka and all the learning I'd been doing watching Barcelona. It turns out when you don't have Frankie de Jong, you're not nearly as effective as when you do have Frankie de Jong. Oh, they're taking the piss now, are they? Do you see what he's just done there, Luis Diaz? He's a bone across it. Absolute wanker. I was, I, whoa, it was so good and I hate it. Look at this from Luis Diaz. You can't, you can't but respect it. Just the Rabona cross, drilled low cross. Who does that? No, it's not possible. David done it your heart out. I've lost 5-1. Wowzers. Turns out pushing the fullbacks on towards the end there. Probably, probably not the right move. Oh, it's a good team talk. At least we've, we've G'd them up for the next one. Flipping heck. Negative. It was a poor performance. As if I have to go in and say that. And then I've been positive just to try and level things off. We're 14th. It's not great, but there's, I've got, okay, thoughts going through my head right now. There's only so much I can learn against Tottenham and Liverpool, who both have much superior sides to me. But then again, we were piss poor against Bournemouth and Fulham. Second thought running through my mind is to go back to the Derby thing, play this player here as a, as a deep line playmaker on a, support, on, a, on a duty, put Vertu in there, bring uh, Alissi, play him centrally from now on with someone like Loftus-Cheek, who is a, a bit of a unit in the middle, with uh, Vidovic as well, and sort of play that style of system because we know regardless of everything else it does score goals and i'd rather do goals beat west ham 4-0 beat middlesbrough 4-1 drew with newcastle 2-2 beat tottenham with it so i don't know why i'm i've hit the i've hit the panic button is what i've done these four games were supposed to showcase you know us learning and growing i changed the system three times and wet myself so that's good isn't it derby county strikerless welcome right if you enjoyed today i mean there, there must have been some level of entertainment there i think so if you did enjoy it again do leave a like on it if, i'll see you tomorrow as we try and rescue this um we'll, we'll work towards the january period oh that looks like a fun little run I'll see you for maybe some of that. I don't know. I don't know. We'll do City and Fulham. That's what we'll do. City and Fulham. This. I'll have won all these games. Easy. Not a problem. Some problems. Take care of yourselves. It's too hot. It's too hot. It's too hot. Now, of course, this is Football Manager. It hates me. So, this might not work.